At high school, I graduated with a 1.3 GPA. At university, I graduated with a 4.0 GPA. Top 5% of my university. How did I do it? I used to struggle to wake up in the morning. I used to struggle to drag myself to my desk. I used to struggle to open my textbooks. And even if I got that far, after 10 minutes, I'd get distracted and stop studying. I was average, just like most other students. I was in a constant battle with procrastination, and I was stuck in this cycle of not studying enough, then failing my exams as a result. I graduated high school with a 1.3 GPA. I felt like a failure. I was disappointed, frustrated even. So I made a decision. I decided that I can achieve more than that. That I am capable of making something of my life. So I thought to myself, how can I achieve that? I've been performing at average my entire life. How can I get out of that trap? How can I perform among the rest of the A-grade students? I realized it came down to my daily habits. What I do constantly, every day, will determine what grades I achieve. It was like a light bulb turned on in my head. What I do with my 24 hours will determine whether I succeed or fail. Those that perform in the top 1%, when they don't feel like studying, they do it anyway. And that's what I started to do. And that's what you need to do. You study hard, even when no one is watching. No one needs to understand how many hours you're studying. No one needs to know how early you wake up in the morning, because that's the quietest time in the day with the least distractions. No one even needs to know why you're doing it. You're not doing it because of the grades, or to prove to the people around you that you can do it. You're doing it because you have a burning desire. Step by step, day by day, become the best version of yourself possible. Far too many people are dreaming of graduating with a 4.0 GPA, but their actions don't match their ambition. They're dreaming of graduating at the top of their class and getting a scholarship to an Ivy League college. They're dreaming of being the best doctor, lawyer, or surgeon in their country. They're dreaming of buying a huge house and a fast car. But when it comes to studying, they can't last 30 minutes without getting distracted. Don't make that mistake. Let your actions do the talking. Be obsessed with your studying, with learning, with growing. I've never met a successful person that wasn't obsessed with growing. That's what I did. I took out the binge-watching Netflix from my schedule and replaced it with personal development material. I read books, watched documentaries, watched educational YouTube videos. I connected with and learned from those students that had already graduated with a 4.0 GPA. I set goals every day, a certain number of hours studying before I could relax. I exercised daily. I ate healthily. I made sure I slept early and woke up early so that I could have a productive morning. It's these small decisions that you make, the seemingly insignificant decisions that build up over time to create extraordinary results. After a few weeks, you will start to see results. Your grades will start improving almost immediately. You will start feeling better about yourself, happier, more content with your life. And after years of living like this, you will be capable of achieving extraordinary things. And you'll start to realize that your most wildly ambitious dreams and goals actually start becoming achievable. And when you decide that you've had enough of getting average grades, just like I did, let me warn you, it will be painful. It will be uncomfortable. But that's where the growth is. You're going to get thrown to the ground again and again and again. But when you have the determination to climb to the top of the class, and when you know that what you're doing by studying every day will be rewarded, you will begin to discover things about yourself that you never knew existed. You will have an energy 
that just builds and builds as you achieve success after success. And that's exactly what I did. And if I did it, you can too. I got rid of the mindset that I'm not smart enough to be among the top students in my class. It was a self-fulfilling prophecy that I was stuck in for a long time. I believed that I wasn't smart enough, and so my grades reflected that. Once I threw away that mindset, it freed me to become whoever I wanted to be. You write your own book. And if right at this moment you decide that you want to make this a new chapter, you can literally turn the page in your life. And you can start a new chapter, still related to the old chapter. The whole book is about you. But the new chapter is a new you. It's a whole new story. And you can start writing the best chapters of your life right now.